What is up, my crazy, beautiful Vaticonians? My name is Vertico, you can call me V, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. So, a quick little, uh, not forewarning, I think forewarning's a good word, so we're going to use it. Uh, for warning, this video is going to be relatively short in the great grand scheme of things. I know, blasphemy. Secondly, um, it's not going to be the episode that a lot of people are waiting for. However, if you haven't already seen it, there was a video that went up on my channel four days or so ago, I believe, um, called the Minecraft Jurassic World Reborn Mod Showcase, or something to that extent. I recommend checking it out, because in there I asked if people want me to use that mod in this playthrough as well. And trust me, I'm probably going to do it, so I need to make sure that I'm not going to be going against anyone's wishes. Though it's me playing with it, you're the ones who have to watch me. <laughs> well, have to is a choice of words to use, but yeah. Um, I personally want to use it, if not anything, so that I can make a massive mahoosive Jurassic World Reborn um, Mosasaurus enclosure. Like, we've got a Mosasaurus enclosure over there. You know, we got one, right? But we've also got a viewing tunnel that goes right through the middle of the ocean. And what bigger enclosure fit for that Mosasaur? Because it's freaking huge than this ocean. That's right. This giant ocean could be it. I mean, I'm just going to have to figure out how to slow down the shark spawn so they don't kill everything. But you know, including me, but that's not as important as, you know, everything else. So that's fine. Um, Megalodon, you, you've been outclassed, mate. That thing is freaking huge. And I kind of want to have a tunnel that goes underneath it so you can look up and go, well, I'm going to die because that's pretty much accurate. Uh, I just need to find out if they destroy blocks because if they do, I hope that's a setting I can turn off. Otherwise, we're pretty darn screwed. Um, anyway, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys something, which is why we started over here, but I ended up going on a tangent in a speaking and physical sense. Why have I... You know what? I don't care. <laughs> it's true, I just hit the microphone with my arm. 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, we've got a new path. Uh, it's... They're work in progress, because I don't know if I like this more than I like textured palms with, like, gravel, stone and stuff. That always looks a bit more fantasy rather than, you know, modern day. So I'm thinking something like this. Um, I don't know how it works, because uh, water obviously won't funnel through there, but we can believe it will. <laughs> uh, so I could actually say that, like, if I put, like, one, like, so, what have I got in my inventory? Oh, no, I emptied it all in this. Uh, the chests because I'm not a dum dum. So I put one like that. You can't really see that it's you know upwards, which I was kind of hoping you'd be able to see at least a little to suggest like it was a storm drain. So I'll have to figure out a storm drain at some point to suggest. Oh look, it looks like an actual path or road or whatever. Um, so that's I'm pretty sure is how we're going to go forwards with this path because we're not using stone bricks to build. We're using it as pathing or paving. You get the point. <laughs> There was something that I actually hinted at, I think it was in the episode before last, or maybe last episode, um, but I didn't actually get contact. That was terrifying. I just saw a pig, not only stuck in a wall, but then taken by one of, one of the Megalania. Yeah, so, um, I don't think I revealed this, but I accidentally, totally or not accidentally, I did it on purpose, um, Got Megalania DNA while I was out um, digging for stuff. Uh, oof, quite a while ago actually. I think it was part of the stuff from the mines. Or no, it wasn't. It was something else. Or was it? I can't remember. Oh, that's where my diamonds have gone. <laughs> um, this is why you don't put chests in random places unless you're playing Stardew. Right. So I don't know what I have on me that I can use to get inside. This will do. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so I actually have two Megalania, and they get along. Oh, they don't like me. That's not fantastic news. There you go, look. We have two. Two Megalania. Because I decided, you know what, Gibby needs a friend. Um, Gibby, I'm pretty sure we've had the longest, right? Was it Dennis? Oh, sorry, Denise. Denise. 
Um, I can't remember. Also, I've got like a thing in the top right that suggests that there's some form of debuff, but I can't see it otherwise. Oh, there we go. Slowness. Ugh. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. There we go. It's done. We're not healing. Okay, great. Let's just waste that pork chop. What is it? Perfect amount, two and a half. But yeah, so there are two Megalanias over there in a very dull, small enclosure. But guess what? It works. So, you know, if it does, if it isn't broke, don't try and fix it because you'll make it broke. That's just the rule of IT. Hardware, um, engines, I presume. Uh, you know, loads of stuff. Life in general. If it's not hard. Wait. I'm trying to fix it. Oh no. If it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Upgrade viewing in the bracky and smart and pretty up trikes. Yeah, that still needs to happen. But we're doing something else first, which is pathing system. I'll do that off camera. I will do that off camera. You're not gonna have to sit and watch me cook a load of stone into stone brick and then make the path. Realize I made one mistake at some point and have to undo it and redo it. It'll be a big old pain. So we'll do that off camera. There is something I'm going to start off camera, but we will do on camera. And that won't be for next episode. I might start off camera to show what I mean next episode. Uh, but I'm going to start like a little blueprint of how I want this to be upgraded. So we're going to keep this area here. So this will be like an outdoor. Um, well, this will be the cemetery attached to it. And a portal to hell. Because, you know, why not? And... Um, so that's the plan for that. But I'm also thinking that what we're going to do is we're going to... I realised as well why I keep leaning down a lot. It's because the microphone's down. So I'm thinking I need to... I need to like, up, like put the boom arm all the way up and have the microphone come down and make it look like I'm a proper like thing on TV. But the problem with that is it's going to be in front of my friggin' face. <laughs> so I'm a bit stuffed on that. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, we'll get rid of Gibby's old enclosure. Oh, he's... Her first enclosure, how cute. Uh, the the pool mystery. I someone did someone say that they saw one of the pools flying through the sky at some point, like when we lost them, which would suggest that somehow, and I do mean somehow, instead of being murdered by something like Gibby with an incredible reach, they literally were pulling their bungee because it is a bungee cord. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever gone into creative mode um, with a creature on a leash. It basically acts like a bungee cord. So it quite possibly could have like treated itself as a one bungee, even though there were several on there. And then one of the stupid pulls was like, I'm just going to run away. Got really, really far and then pinged. And we're talking went to space. That would be hilarious. Look at that subtle... That actually was too bright for me. Good lord. It doesn't help I've got a light there. I'm using natural light to get my side profile. Yes. Also, I figured out why I keep going quiet at certain points. Because I look up. <laughs> oh, crikey. 100% professional here at Virgo. <laughs> I need to get an XLR mic. It will sort me out at some point. Um, I forgot what I was going with my train of thought. So far, we've killed 9 minutes. 10 out of 10. But yeah, so path, upgrade house, but no, 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 next episode, as long as when this episode goes live, I don't see anyone making strong cases against Jurassic World Reborn. Fingers crossed, because I really want to play it, guys. <laughs> we'll be um trying to figure out how it works. I don't know if you have seen that showcase, but in that showcase, I did a very short explanation of what the ever-loving hell. It was like three whole pages of just to get some DNA, and it's like, Mate, I have the attention span of a gnat on acid. Are you sure you want to do this? Like, okay, we'll give it a crack. Why am I running out of energy so quickly? I've got to go kill things now. Ugh. We got enough XP for stuff. Yeah, we've got loads of XP. We're all good. Um, because I do need to fix my bow, my pick, and my shovel soon enough. Hello, Mr. Piggy. I put away the arrows. That's never a good sign, because I'm going to encounter bad guys before I get there. I don't like this. Why did I Why did I put them away? Ah, uh, probably because it was more than one, because I killed a skeleton, in which case I'll probably just forget that I need to have always have one in my inventory. I wish I had, like, a, an inventory slot for arrows. It'd make this mistake 
a lot less likely to happen. Um, yeah, 20, great. Now then, perfect. Mm, I'm so glad that fire arrows don't set fire to wood otherwise. <laughs> that could have been problematic. Right, I saw a pig down there. Oh god, it's night time and I've got my lights on and the outside light. But fortunately, I found a setting on my monitor that means that glare is a lot less likely to happen. Which is just incredible. Anyway, pork chop. Lovely. However, the darks mean that um, it's darker for me. <laughs> so like, where, there's, where before, if I was getting any form of light, it was glaring and that was causing the problem. Now it's just like, oh, you see the darkness? Yeah, that's dark, dark. I can just see the fin and that's kind of awesome. Right, let's have a little peek to see. Oh, this is so cool. I love... I love this setup. I do. I love the aquatic. Oh my god! I didn't know what that was. I thought it was the sea scorpion, and I was like about to pull my bow away. Like I can't kill it. I can't kill it. But it's not. Oh god! That gave me a freaking jump. <laughs> um. But yeah, no. Um. I love the sea creatures. Uh. In any mod, if it adds aquatics, I love it usually, unless it's like an ugly aquatic. But if it's intentionally ugly, I won't call someone's hard work ugly otherwise. You know, people put some hard work in. I will call them derpy, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean it as a sign of affection, because Parkosaurus is nothing but derp, but it's one of my favourite simulation games, like, ever. <laughs> so, <laughs> trust me, if I say something's derpy, it's not an insult. It's more of a, oh, I see a lot of myself in that thing. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, did I just call my... Yeah, I did. That's fine. That That's fine. Now then, could you not? Lovely. Look at this. We're getting loads of XP. You know, plenty of XP. I should probably get the diamonds ready for the repair, right? So that I know how much XP I need, because there's probably going to be a lot more than I thought. Also, do we still have loads of stuff? Holy moly, have you been breeding on your own? That's an oof, chief. Right, well, you've actually got a lot of food, right? That... Oh, and here. Glorious. Glorious. Look at this. Lots and lots of food. Fortunately, creepers... Wait, if I turn off mob griefing... Griefing? Griefing? Okay, that's a word. Griefing um, in regards to creepers. I don't know. I can't remember. How do you... Bugger. There you go. Right, let's eat some pork. There we go. I've got on a full keto diet. Why not? I know. That'd have to be beef, not pork, right? I don't know keto been a while since I even looked at anything fitness related, so you'll have to forgive me. Though I probably should. <laughs> uh, I've gone from... Oh, what's the term I use? Oh yeah, relatively shred Bundy before lockdown I was. Okay, well there's our answer. Griefing is not off. Um, fortunately, didn't destroy the chest. Thank God. Right, okay. Yeah, no, I won't. <laughs> what a way to get interrupted, Mr. Creeper. Relative uh, uh, Shred Bundy pre COVID sort of pandemic. Pa oh, sorry, panorama YouTube. Um, To, uh, well, relatively Ted Bunt cake. So it's. It, I, I've gone from, you know, reasonably fit to reasonably thick. And it's just. Oof, I probably should think about it, but I just don't have the energy at the moment. And I'm not going to punish myself for it. There's no point doing that. I'm, you know, I'm comfortable the way I am at the moment, so it's it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, we go on to a big old thing. Uh, 34. Oh, I'm not going to have enough for you, am I? I am. Oh, I forgot that anvils can break. Interesting. Right, um, no, is it a string you need for a bow? Oh no, I've got combined bows to fix bows. Oof, chief. Right, well, to be fair, this bow is, I'd say, three quarters of the way. So we're good. And we needed to do the pick and the, uh, the shovel because we're going to go on a big old digging expedition in the next episode. And lots of paper and plaster and whatever else this mod needs because it's going to be... Um, it, honestly, if you haven't checked the video out, please do because... You have the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World, which is incredibly oversized, and I love that. 
Indoraptor with male and female gener uh, variations that I didn't show off in the mod, but I believe the um, alternative variation is, of course, white. So it's quite crisp uh, in regards to the options in that mod, and I'm very excited. Right, how's Hylia Pluridons doing? I see, uh, who knows? It's it's a bit glary. <laughs> Not glary, dark, so I can't see. It's a bit interesting. Um, Let's have a look through that. I can see one. I knew that there was one over there, right? It's probably moved by on that now, but yeah. That's cool. Yeah, look at this. This is one of my like favorite little just built into something creations, and I'm quite chuffed with it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. <laughs> I think that's the least energy I've ever provided. No, don't kill the chicken. I need to kill the chicken. Oh, hello, spider. That's the least energy sort of reactions I've provided in this in a long time. Also, I think I put my helmet away, didn't I? No, I'm good. Just making sure it's not on though, so that I don't break it so it's fine there we go getting some xp back bit by bit right i'm once again out of okay don't move they don't see me also they're asleep thank god just fell into the piranha pit land piranhas very dangerous now speaking of dangerous any more monsters oh probably get a few spawn around here because i've not been smart to put torches down right there that's a choice. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. We need to fix you right up, don't we? Yes. That is considerably dark. Err, uh, than I remembered. So um, yeah, I need to be done during the day. <laughs> oh yes, I wanted to show you guys one more thing before we finish the video because the Sarcosuchus hasn't grown. At least it hadn't by the start of this video, so probably not. I don't care. That's what, in Kylo? Yeah, that's fine. Right. I feel so bad about the person that told me that, you know, not showing off enough of their model. Oh, of course it's pitch black. Yeah, why not? Um, This is the Tyrannosaurus now, lads and laddies, lad, lads, lasses, and envies. Look how big this bad boy is. Oh, oh, I thought you were hitting me while you were asleep, and I was like, wait. You only did one heart. No, it's just a filthy spider. There we go. Gone the way that spiders should go. Ah, uh, there we go. Look at it. Look at it. If I could drag that, I would. So you like cooked... Oh, you can cook the fish? Look, the big fishies. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, that's a lot of words. If someone paused the video, they can read it, I'm sure. Although, to be fair, like, because I had so much motion, that will be motion blur, so give it a second. There you go. You could have paused it and read it. But yeah, this is a... Hello. Please don't kill me. Wait, are you hurt? Oh, did you get up inside the wall? Okay. You're, you're fully healthy. You're not to the point of wanting to murder me, which means I can make a quick escape. But there you go. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, peeps. <laughs> it's nice and fully grown. The Sarko hasn't grown a single stage yet, and it won't for a few days in game. So I'm a bit nervous about doing stuff like um, off camera all the time because you miss that sort of stuff. But if I give you an update every now and then, I'm sure you'll be happy. Pretty sure it's probably not even moved from its spot ever since I put the feeder down. I can't see it, which means I'm going to have to go over there. <sighs> we know how this went last time. Should I waste any food making sure I can get some stamina? Yeah, I should. Good lord, this water is so slow. Ugh. Uh, oh. Was that it? That little jump, was that it? Yeah, that is it, innit? That's it. Look. Oh, yeah, I think you're a little bit bigger. Oh, so you're not attacking me, so you must have eaten from the feeder. Oh, fantastic. Look at him go. Where are you now? I can hear you jumping, but I can't see where you are. Oh, wait. People were telling me about the jumping. They said that they jumped high. Oh god, that was it jumping through the water as well. When you get full size, if you could not go and eat that Brachiosaurus, that'd be fantastic. Or me, or anything else, that'd be great. That would be great. But I think, okay, I said it would be relatively short. This is about standard. Okay, give me some credit. I know it was short for content, we just walked around, but we did discuss a few things, and I promise next episode will be a little bit more... Well, it'll be longer. A little bit more exciting in the great grand scheme of things, because we're going to be going to find and dig up fossils with paper and plaster and 
all of the trimmings. That'll be interesting, I think. Maybe. Possibly. It may also not be. But that's down to me, not the mod. <laughs> uh, sorry if I'm a bit tired or drained. It's because I am. <laughs> no other way around that. Oof. Oof. Look at that. Just see where my hair is dying while it's growing back. So it's like, okay, well, I've learned my lesson. Let's not shave the middle anymore. We'll only shave the sides. <laughs> Barber's open in a month's time. Uh, I'll go as long as it's safe at the time, but we'll see. Thank you all so much for watching today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do some hoosh. The like button down below. I'm really hunching, aren't I? Like this. Like Gollum. If you have um, haven't already, make sure you smash the like button down below. If you have uh, blah blah. And if you so wish, you can also subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and joining my joining my crazy beautiful Bertconians. I've hit everything doing this. I've hit the mic. I've hit the desk. <laughs> I'm so tired. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ta-ra.